Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo, and today we are doing a 1v run on Once Again, A River Runs Through Us. So at the bottom in the blue plane as the United States, we got ourselves zero, 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 oil. don't exactly know. Now at the top in the red plane as Chimera, we got the Commissar. So as usual, let's uh, speed up the early game and get things going. Zero, we're going to be going for two oil refineries. Getting one down the base a wee bit. And probably going to put double extractor on both. Try to get as much money as he can. And the Commissar just getting two oil on one, one outpost. I see he can't do double extractor in these bloody USA. That's for Chimera only. The Commissar getting some infantry out. Going to be capping both of his banks on his side of the river, getting an aluminum refinery out. Zero already got his aluminium out and almost was going to buy his uh, light vehicle bay. And he's already capped his banks. And Zero once again, getting another oil refinery, getting all that hollow dollar money. And a light vehicle bay. Well, the Commissar keeps on expanding, getting himself a Sentinel turret. For base defense. Now, yeah, Zero's actually building up some Humvees, you don't see those too often. I see loading one, fill river, I'll slow it down a wee bit. One of these is filled with infantry, there we go, we got four Marines in here. Now, the Commissar, he has two Sentinel turrets now, he's building himself another refinery, so. I think, I think he's playing a very defensive match right now. Let's try to get all out refineries out and tack up quickly. Yes, yeah, another Sentinel turret. Zero gassing himself the armory. He's not attacking yet. So he's waiting for some more units. Pumping out more strikers. Definitely gonna need them if they're gonna be all your sentinels. Now, oh yeah, there we go. We got our spear vehicle bay being brought out from the comic song. A little bit late, but better late than never. Now, both sides being rather defensive. No, no actual attacks yet. Neither, neither side even really crossing the river. Just building up what they got. Speed it up a bit till we can actually see something going on. Some actual form of aggression. And the Zero is just pumping out a lot, a lot, a lot of these strikers. And the Commissar is pumping out some Pumas now. Yeah, both sides really had all this time because they've very much expanded pretty much on every single refinery. It's both sides making a holler dollar money. Yeah, look at that. Building completed. Yeah, both Storage sides doing rather good. Completed. I'm having a feeling this is going to escalate into super weapons quite quickly. Stealth enemy unit detected. Now we've got two heli pads from Zero, so some Guardian spam and is he actually gonna is someone actually going to attack? That'd be amazing. We just look at all these Humvees. Got the mini guns on them. And Zero already upgraded to DEFCON run, getting some little bird out. And oh my red, is he gonna cross the river? We got the first shot of the match, and it is 12 minutes in. Yeah, the Hellfire missiles and the lone sniper guy found an array at the bank. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We got a bloody Omega cannon being brought out and a defensive center. We also got a uh, Terminator being brought out as well from the short vehicle bay. 
Got N. And zero going straight for the easy money administrative centers. Guardians pounding on your flannery at long range or telephone missiles being quite powerful. He doesn't have Hydra missiles, unfortunately. Hydra should definitely help. Near the Pumas trying to attack, but attack helicopters are pretty good at dealing with Pumas. Just keeping their range, trying to be smart. It was good. Yeah, zero got one sniper dude in that bank. There's some rather good aggression. I can't be sure trying to build a lot of buildings right now. Air control tower. That's a very good idea getting the air control tower. Get some of those interceptor planes out still with the guardians. And still zero. He has this force here. He could really be attacking with. But they're just sitting in base, really doing nothing. <laughs> you may want to get another power plant or another fuel generator. Again, he's pounding from the enemy bank. Hellfire missiles doing our thing. Stealth enemy unit detected. Snipers as well, also helping out. Me, so does he have the air control tower? It is being built. He is uh, some terminators in the space. They don't have any upgrade, Joe. And see, the Guardians, they definitely do have that no line of sight upgrade. They they have a long range, an awful long range. Sentinel turret doing its best to protect itself, but no die. Well, it will die, actually. Yes, yeah, yeah, control tower, you got Pack FA being brought out. And these guardians are doing a fantastic job of just lowering stuff up. And this, yeah, we've got the Amiga cannon, he's loading up ammo. Helicopters just keeping their range. Now, the Terminators are quite a good force to have because they can shoot down the incoming missiles if he does get enough of them. He also does have AA and anti tank Still missiles as well near the back of phase. Exactly what he needs. Just fly around and shoot his bloody Guardian force. He might as well try and get some Count's Yeah, That's exactly what he's doing. He needs all the AA he can get right now. And this is a lot of Guardians. And attack helicopters in these numbers are scary as hell. From to behinds to Tigras. Not a nice not a nice sight to see. So many missiles. Let's take a look at this base real fast. Yeah, the Amiga cannon already fired. Doing quite a bit of damage. It's gonna be down to Rao. Uh, if Gummizar can just hold his ground and keep his base secured, he can just keep loading up ammo. I'm pounding at Zero's base. Stealth enemy unit yeah, Zero needs to get a power plant up fast and then a Patriot missile system. Yo, does he have any rare earth deposits? Oh, no, he does not. That is, that is a real bad sign for Zero. Because you do need that rare earth to get the Patriot missiles. So his base is pretty much unprotected. Stealth enemy unit detected. It's really going to be down if he could if he could shoot, kill the Amiga Cannon with his Guardian, that would be his best bet. Just try and fly around here and shoot in the behind. Because this, this is where he has to worry about. And there's another missile. It's like, it's kind of like a nuke, but at the same time it's an artillery piece. Because it's like, it's like rocket powered. Is it a nuke? Or is it just like a really big explosion? Because that doesn't look too nuclear. It looks more laserous. There's a Guardian helicopter helipads down, a rather good kill. Back our face is taking shot after shot. He just he really does need more of these pack FAs. Like two air control towers would be perfect. I mean six of them. Stealth enemy unit detected. Here he is, he is slowly picking off these helicopters, one by one. 
and Zero can't exactly get any more right now. Oh, look at yes, Tommy's not getting himself an anti-2500. Just for base defense. He doesn't have to worry about nukes, because there are no nukes. And then Zero immediately getting the helipads back up. Yeah, he's getting himself some processing plants, exactly what he needs. And there's another Amiga cannon. Stealth enemy unit detected. And this one should be enough to actually blow up the base entirely. For the HQ, that is. Oh, there we go. And that was that was a good kill. There goes the HQ, the field generator zero only has only has those helipads left. Does he have an FOB somewhere? Oh, oh, look at yes. Oh, look at, yes. How many F-22s? That's a lot of F-35s. This is ace on the hole right here, right in the back. He did lose, those, he did lose pretty much his entire base here, so he isn't doing all that well. But he can still build up. He can turn his FOB into a haze Q. And he's keeping on the grass. And finally, he's moving up his ground forces. These striker MGFs have been sitting in the back the entire time. They do have... Task for an upgrade. And this is just a lot of firepower right now. I need to really concentrate the fire on the central turret. There's an Amiga cannon loaded with another shot, but he is going to be holding his fire. And zero, yeah, his helicopter is just completely decimated by the pack FAs. And yeah, Commissar holding on to his base. I usually say with like, yes map, attacking the enemy base directly on, especially when it's all built up, is it's it's hard. It's really bloody hard. So if you got a very entrenched opponent, like Commissar, he's got three repair outposts in his base. He's, he's a bunkering up for sure. The best thing to do is not to attack the base, but try to get the refineries on their outskirts, because... These crushers and sentinels and refineries are easy pickings, and by destroying them, you can just you can stop your enemy from getting any money. You know, choke him out from the outside. It's a little bit harder to do in this map because the resources are behind the enemy base, but with attack helicopters, that ain't too much of an issue. See, so yeah, they're all building up his forces once again, getting some lambs, got some field generators. And that field HQ. And a Patriot missile system. Oh, thank God. That's exactly what he needs. And the Commissar, he might as well, you know, just send a scouting unit out. You know, he can get a support bay, get a ninja, see rally enemy bases, see why he's still in the match. Because if you already shot three nukes at the enemy, or three super weapons at four, four super weapons at the enemy, and they're still playing... Their base is probably somewhere else. You gotta find that base and blow it up. Commissar just getting the terminators. The ant knee doing its AA thing. It has extremely long AA range, like the Patriot missile system as you can see. It's F-35s. Not exactly doing too much. To Stealth enemy unit detected. And zero space, kind of heavy vehicle bay. No Patriot, yo. And yeah, it's Amiga cannon that has two shots ready to fire. Oh, look, we've got some Fenix being brought out from the Commissar. Good old Fenix. See, they get pumped out rather fast. And he could use his force to try and find the enemy base, and that's exactly Stealth what he's doing. Gonna be scouting around. And he should, he should be able to see us. Yeah, he does see that air control tower. And yeah, he has a nuke. <laughs> I mean, Omega Blitz shot. There goes all the air control towers. One shot, one kill. You might want to get a little bit closer here and spot the rest of the base. And oh, the Patriots saving saving the rest of the base just in time. 
So his Phoenix, uh, the Phoenix can easily destroy Patriots here or surrenders immediately. And that'll be a good game, a rather defensive play on that map. But that map is pretty much a epitome of defensive play. And I think it's a good lesson if your opponent bunkers up on that hill on the main base. Don't attack it. It's a race of time. They're going to have a lot of nasty defense turret share to stop you. Instead, try to hit around the outer edges and, um, you know, destroy their economy. Also, on that map, always, 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 once you get to, like, the max tech level, get an anti-super weapon turret as soon as you can, from Patriots to Antony's to the thing at Cartel House. Because this map is ripe. For lots of ex you know super weapon explosives but the rail that's all i have time for this has been another rangaroo cast i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as usual please just take it easy